time to get out and play. Amsoil delivers the ultimate protection for your vehicles and equipment. Fast, free shipping right to your door. Spend $100 and shipping is on us. Order now at amsoil.com. All right, dudes, time to paint some stuff. So, uh, trying to stick with the 70s chopper theme, you know, late 70s, early 80s. And there's a little spot in the tank and I've already hit it with a little bit of 600 and it's pretty smooth. Uh, I'm gonna throw on some panels on here on the sides first and I may end up adding more later or whatever, you know. Um, but I'm gonna do these sides and see what that looks like. And I've got some uh, crazy metallic because that's what I like. Um, so we're gonna throw some color on this thing. Let me show what we're first starting with. I just got some uh, glass cleaner here, just wipe everything down, get off oil and grease. Um, we've also got some final prep and stuff, uh, but I'm gonna lay those out. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is find a natural line that's kind of there. I'm just gonna get this started. And the longer that you pull your runs, the better they're gonna be and you slowly work them down. If you try to do an inch or two at a time, you're gonna have it just really wobbly. So you let the tape kind of do the work for you and you can do it multiple times with this tape. Pull it up, put it back down. So I'm gonna try to slowly curve my hand as I let it down and you can see where it's already starting to follow that natural curve right there. Up here, you gotta use your finger and you just slowly work it, but you wanna pull the tape out. And this is going a little bit this way, so I'm gonna pull back up. And you can almost do this an infinite number of times. It'll finally lose its sticky, but it does really good. And it'll even do tight curves with the eighth inch. If you have quarter inch, you may not be able to do it as well, but you could do measurements and stuff too. I'm sure professionals, uh, probably don't actually. Professionals probably just uh, are even better than most people um, at doing any of this stuff. But I want to get my my line as good as I can all the way down. And this actually has it looks straight, but it actually has a little bit of a bow to it. And so does this, where it would be somewhat straight. So I want to follow all those natural curves. This is already looking pretty good. And I just want to. Pull it down here. And I could go into where this goes down to a point. Here, I could just bring it, add on some tape and go straight down to a point there. But I wanna go ahead and add the curve into it even though it doesn't have one off the bottom of the tank right here. So I'm gonna have to really get tight with it. And then see if I can work this up a little bit more. That may, be, that may be even too far down there. Really should be pulled back here. But I kind of want to leave my gap about the same. And right there's the, the bend, so it's pretty close. And then I can fix this part right there, but that's pretty much it. All right, so now we got my one side done. Now what I want to do is find the center approximately, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but that's pretty close because you can you can kind of eye it there. And since this is a pretty even tank, it's kind of even, easy to do because even our gas cap is in the center here. And then bring it on down into there. Now, and I'll just snap it there. So that gives me a line that's pretty close to the center. Now, this is only for measurement. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the tape to actually measure each length here. So what I'm gonna do is use my fingernail, trying to get some measurements here. So I'm gonna go to the inside of that one. 
this one. Okay, so I know that's it. So now when I go over here, stay about where I was at over there, and I'm gonna set this one to the inside edge there, to the inside edge here, and those are pretty close. So now I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna trim right there. So that measurement's done. So now I'm gonna do a little ways up, just stick my nail there again, I'll pull it taut, find my nail. I'm gonna go to the same spot here. I'm gonna bring it around, make it a little bit straighter. And then here is my line there. And then do it again. Here's the top. And I'm gonna go here to there. And I'm gonna start here. Bring it on over. Mark my line there. All right, so now I have some points to go by. And the bottom part here, I'm just gonna eye it because you can't look at the bottom of each side at the same time, so. But the top, you will be able to see at the same time because it's on each side of this tiny tank. So um, the next one I think I'm gonna do is one around the front just so I know how far to pull to. And then I'm gonna start lining out that side. Okay, both sides are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down again. And then uh, lightly sand it with some 600, just knock the shine off and then uh, start spraying. All right, guys, pops out me out, get taped up. That already looks pretty killer. He's just going around slowly adding tape and you don't want to cover up on the inside of the blue line because that blue line is going to be a real nice little fine line there. Uh, then we also got a huge plastic bag. We're going to cover everything up because this is going to be glittery. Right, we gotta get the, the bike bagged up here. It's trying to float away on us. Now we're gonna pull it in and kind of tape around our area that we gotta be, and then we're gonna tape the bag down up here. Pretty well taped up now, bagged up. It's uh, running out of daylight. I have to hurry. First thing I'm doing is a little light coat of the purple. Now I'm going to add a little more, doing light coats each time and then waiting a couple minutes in between each one. We're going to add a little bit of heat, kind of speed it up. And in between the heavier coats, you probably want to wait five or ten minutes, depending on temperature and everything else. Here's the next stuff. Glitter blast. Now you see that looks pretty rough. We're not gonna do that. So we're gonna barely mist it. And just add a little bit of glitter out here. Just a little at a time. And then you can take your light and kind of look and see how much you're doing. But you gotta continually shake this stuff like every 20 seconds, just to keep it mixed up. All right, next one we got, flat clear. So tried this earlier. And this is gonna, this is kind of flat looking. It's gonna keep it flat looking. We got some other plans here, but it's gonna go ahead and lock us in where we're at. So we added a few layers of clear and I'm doing a little bit of accent, actually using the nightshade, which is for your in your tail lights but i added a little black line around it trying to give it some some deeper appeal added a little bit to the center trying to get a little artistic with it we'll try this out now all right so now i'm going to try to lock in this with some regular gloss clear and uh try to go from there all right, guys, so I see my paintbrush there. I touched up a little couple spots around the edge on the other side with the VHT. And now I'm doing professional uh, clear 
Uh, this is actually from the paint shop. That's the only place I've been able to find it, but this is chemical resistant. So it's uh, much stronger and it smells much stronger too. So, uh, but it's a lot better clear. So and a few more layers of it. All right, so now we're gonna start pulling some plastic off. All right, so now I'm gonna start taking off all of this tape and uh, get it out of the way. The best thing I do when you're taking this off, now right here doesn't matter, but when you're taking it off, you kinda wanna pull it at an angle and real nice and smooth. I'll give you a good, nice little line there. Start pulling it all this off here. See how good our taping was. All right, guys. There it is. That's it. Kind of in the dark. You can see a little bit of the purple coming through. Go ahead and shine me some light, Daddy. Look at that just comes to life as soon as you put a little bit of light on it. All right guys, here it is in the sun. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I went ahead and lined out the top. I'm gonna do a top panel up there and I lined this one back out again because uh, I need to, I sanded a couple spots. I'm wanting to re-clear this. Um, but uh, it does look kind of cool. Blue striping actually looks kind of cool too. Um, but I think it'll look neat having the three panels done. So then I may leave the fender black or whatever, but, um, this bike's obviously not perfect. There's some dings and dents and some scuff marks and there's still some on the tank, obviously, but I want it to look, uh, original or not, not original, but at least a, uh, a survivor anyways, uh, kind of like the green shovel head. You know, I want it to look like it's been this way for for years and this is the way somebody did it a long time ago so pretty pretty cool though there we go check that out in the sun that looks pretty sweet and you got the top part the same spot that this one was and i want to add a little bit more clear to this side and uh it's got a pretty nice little sparkle to it it's amazing how much sparkle this thing gets. The more layers of clear that you put on. And there's an extreme difference between just the cheapo clear and this professional clear. Like, it's so much thicker and deeper. I mean, this stuff is just insane how good it is. Because it's just such a I mean, it just makes the color just go crazy, and the and the and the sparkles are going crazy, and it's a, a lot slicker, a lot shinier looking than the other stuff is. But it's obviously cost a little bit more for this clear, but it's definitely worth it. Thank mm -hmm. you.